Al Connors from the Ottawa Theatre Challenge is here. Yeah. Uh, it's all set to go. Um, now, the actual performance of the challenge happens a week from Wednesday on the 27th. Yeah, on World Theatre Day. Okay, great. That's just very cool. And it's on the fourth stage at the NAC if people mm -hmm. want to see it. But first, we should set up how it works. Right. So, uh, so far, I guess it all begins when a company of fools uh, puts out a challenge to mm -hmm. all theater companies in town. So far, there are nine of them that have responded. Uh, there's still time, uh, so if anybody uh, thinks they're brave enough to do that, uh, go to <laughs> fools.ca. Uh, but all the companies that, that uh, have accepted the challenge meet 48 hours before the show. Okay. Uh, and everybody exchanges inspiration items. So uh, the, the winner of the previous year gets to set what those items are. Uh, usually, they're like a, a prop. Uh, a line of dialogue or a newspaper headline and something like a, a sound effect or um, one year was a piece of food or one year okay. was a... Uh, it can be anything. Right. And then so uh, there's a, a draw and everybody exchanges these items and they have 48 hours to uh, create a, a sketch or a short piece of theater or anything like that. Um, and then uh, they're judged by a panel of easily bribed judges right. and the winner gets to take home the Rubber Chicken Award and bragging rights uh, so they can, they can officially say that they are the greatest theater company in the city of Ottawa. For one year. For one year. They yeah. gotta, I like that you have to defend it. Oh, know? absolutely. Uh, so, and it's a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, the whole concept is hilariously fun. Uh, yeah, and we, uh, one of the most fun things is calling out all the companies that don't respond to the right. challenge, and we just publicly uh, shame them and call them a chicken. <laughs> Is this uh, yeah. something, what, what, do you see only comedic performances out of this, or do you see some serious stuff? Or? Uh, you absolutely uh, do see some, some more dramatic or some uh, suspense, or mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's really a great chance to, uh, to see what other companies are doing, because every company uh, will inevitably perform in the style that they, they're used to. Right. Like there's a, a vintage stock theater company, uh, always does some great uh, uh, like period pieces, like they show up in beautiful costumes and like fantastic props and stuff, oh, cool. uh, like Black Sheep Theater Company. Company usually does some like pretty sharp satire or like some some really kind of sly stuff. Good. Uh, Company of Fools. Generally, we go big and silly uh, right off the bat. We've Fun. done some some clown bits and some puppet stuff has happened. Uh, yeah, it's a real. <laughs> it can, you can literally see anything happen on stage at the NAC there. And and like the best part is that it's it's never ever going to be the same. I mean, it's no. just every year after year you're going to be surprised. Absolutely, and I mean, even if, if you're at the event and there's one particular group or show or sketch that you you know you're not really that pleased with, five minutes later it's open or it's over, and then right. you've got something completely different on. So, so it's just like the weather in the city. It is just like just the like weather. It. So yeah. uh, I guess a question to try and bring this alive in someone who hasn't seen its mind. Give me an example of maybe some items that have been used before, like in previous years. Can you maybe uh, think well, of those? Uh, the, uh, the winner, last year's winner uh, was 411 Dramaturgy. And, okay. and the winner of the previous year, not only do they get to set the criteria for this year, but uh, the proceeds uh, go to uh, charity. Okay. Um, so they, they get to determine that. And uh, so uh, it was a woman named Melanie Karen uh, did a solo piece. Uh, it was kind of a, a dramatic monologue. And her three items were uh, a cherry lip smacker chapstick. Okay. Uh, there was a sound effect, which was a uh, uh, Kanye West going, huh? <laughs> and uh, no, hers was an eagle, uh, an eagle like, Kaka! Oh, okay. Uh, and um, I forget what the headline was, but but the piece culminated in uh, Melanie uh, Use, was, using chapstick in a way that chapstick. was not originally intended. It was uh, there was a gesture like this, <laughs> uh, and it went, <laughs> uh, and it was uh, it was very funny. That sounds uh, awesome. She totally deserved to win for it. If yeah. people want to go and see it really quickly, uh, you go to fools.ca for information or the National Arts Center's website. Okay. Uh, tickets are on sale right now, uh, and it's not too late to sign up if you uh, have a group of people that want to compete or participate, uh, fools.ca is where to go. That's uh, That sounds like a total fun night uh, either way, no matter which, which direction <laughs> it yeah. ends up going. Uh, make sure you check that out.